I'm Richard Edward Greatrix that speak for myself, not speaking for anyone else. And here I am, there's nothing wrong with me. I go and see my doctors at Durban, Oregon, and me and my doctor, we have a laugh. He says, there's nothing's wrong with your kidneys, liver or lungs, it's just your eyesight. When he mentioned my eyesight, I laugh and he laughs. So we have a good old time. And we're still doing blood tests to find out if I've got the capital C, which I don't have. And I don't know why, why I can't have it, even though I'm not asking for it. Everybody else seems to be having it. But the thing is, I love this friend of mine. And it's very hard for me to try and sleep at night just to see him in the hospital bed, but he's been discharged. And I um, <coughs> just don't know what's going to happen next. Because being promised, being through negotiations with the government, and it still didn't fall through. And the thing is, nobody knew, not even the doctors, when I came to Perth first time in 1985, because I finished work with APB in 84. Then from there, the doctors in Royal Perth Hospital said they can't do nothing for me. And here I am still wondering who has left me in the dark to try and figure it out for myself what has happened to my eyesight. Mm -hmm. No, I worked a little bit at Roebuck Plain Station. Mm -hmm. just, and then after that I went to Darwin. Mm -hmm. I spent some time in Darwin and that. And uh, come back to Derby and uh, my eyesight started to get worse on New, New Year's Eve like sitting on the veranda, yeah. looking through them glass windows, you know, behind Bobin, yeah, yeah, yeah. where them old houses used to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Watching video through there, I wanted to go out for that New Year's Eve. I, nah, I got my card in the arm right there. Next morning, I wake up, hey, come on. Now, nah, he'll go away, this I thought. There they come. I'm stuck quiet. Lots of people ask me, you want to drive my car? We go for cruise. I tell them, no, I'm going to lose my license. Never mind, my license didn't run out until March. Mm -hmm. I tell them, no, I lost my license. I, I didn't want to do, tell them, no, my eyesight no good. They say, oh, you're bullshitting. And you know, yeah, yeah, no, okay. Yeah. So I just had to talk my way that way and that way. and. Everybody used to get happy, you know. Hi. Well, he lost his license. Good job for drunk driving. Mm -hmm. Never lost it at all. Just let it. Let it go. Mm. You know, ten days out there, come in for four days, go out for nine days, come in for five days. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, when we used to get our pay, and all the boys used to get, you know, well, not all, but some of them. We all get together in Spinney Hotel, you know, and you, oh, we'd rock the dance floor and everything, you know. Uh -huh. Bring out the jugs of beer, everything. Oh, Jordan. Uh -huh. Today, now. Hmm. Right now, right now. You remember what kind of drums they were? Yeah, 44 gallon drums with that skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Marks then. They had some day out in Bungaran area. Bungaran, yeah. Mm. And, uh, whoop, whoop. well, last I heard was Danny Patrick buried some drums at the old dump. I know exactly where the area is, mm. but it's covered with cars and everything. Yeah. That's why I was told that, uh, they need $15 million to dig up all that ground, all that old wrecked cars and... Pull everything out just there for the drums. Mm. Oh. What's that uh, 
that I will call Buffalo or some stadium anyway. Buffalo against Saints. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Buffalo. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> because one fellow from Jordan used to play for Buffalo and say, Terry mine, you know. <laughs> Hey, Mary, what, what that score there? You don't be silly. You can see from here. When I stop quiet, I stop quiet. Anyway, so when game over, I said, I'll be in the dark, so we'll win. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I just lived a life like in silence, still thinking. If I wouldn't have worked for APB, would my eyesight be the same or what would be the difference? To my understanding, they, they either believe it or not that I've been caused and been affected by this chemical. But me, I'm just, me, myself, wondering where is it going to end? And when are we going to be able to live a life before the fullness? Now, as I'm speaking, for the rest of the former workers, which I should have spoken years ago, why can't the government pay us out while we got little time to share with our families on this earth? Why can't we be paid out? even though we've got illness, sickness, whatever this Agent Orange has caused us, because we didn't ask for this problem to happen to our lives. <laughs>